All right guys, how's it going? Welcome back. A few weeks ago I did a video with a 520 diesel BMW and I was very impressed with it. So I decided to buy another BMW 5 Series, although this one has a slightly different engine. In fact, let me start it up and see if you can work out what it is. Bear with me a second. Right, just bear with me a second. Did anyone guess correctly? It's a 552 horsepower M5. It uses a 4.4 litre twin turbocharged V8 that's capable of 190 miles an hour. So yeah, it's a little bit different from the, uh, the 520 I did a review on recently. I think it's one of the best cars I've ever bought, or, or driven in fact. Okay, I might be getting a little bit carried away. In fact, no, I'm not. I'm not getting carried away. It is one of the best cars I've ever driven. I adore it. It's superb. The performance takes your breath away. The quality of it is perfect. What more could you want from a car than this? What's strange is that the performance comes as a total surprise. You sat here in all this leather with heated seats and sat nav and aircon and all this sort of stuff, and nothing can quite repair you for the, the nuclear explosion that happens when you stand on the accelerator. Just watch this. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's, it's blisteringly quick. I've just never experienced something quite like it. I mean, something like the Porsche 911 that I drove recently was quick. But you expect that more because you're in a, a loud, low-to-the-ground Porsche. And this, you're not. You're in a luxurious German cruiser. So you sit here and it's no different from a standard 520. It's not intimidating or frightening or scary. It's just a standard 5 Series. It's a real Jekyll and Hyde car, this. I'm not talking in Cockney rhyming slang, by the way, but it's got a split personality. It's schizophrenic. One minute it's a quiet, luxurious German saloon, and the next... <laughs> the next you're doing, well, a lot, a lot of miles per hour. Now, I've got a slight problem. I bought this car to sell, because that's my business, that's how I earn a living. I'm not for one minute trying to pretend that I'm some sort of baller and I bought this and it's like hashtag new whip Wednesday, hashtag new wheels, or anything like that. I bought this to sell. But, like a junkie, I want it for myself. Had this come up before my Range Rover, I would have just kept it, no question. I'm a proper car addict. I didn't realize I had the problem quite so bad, but I just don't want to let go of this car. So I think I've got to put my sensible cap on and clean it all off and put it in the showroom and just not use it and try and sell it and just stick to my Range Rover. I don't want to start trying to refinance or any of that sort of nonsense. I think I'll just have my fun today and then get it back in the showroom. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you what I'd bought and um, yeah, let me know what you think below. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already. Make sure you, uh, I can't get my words out. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions or comments, let me know. I'll do my best to get back to you. Cheers, guys. Oh, don't forget to follow me on uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You know what to do. I'll leave the link below. Yeah, cheers, guys. I'll see you next time.